What's up, YouTube? Ladies, man, here again, coming at you with another video. As you guys know, yesterday was WWDC, the Worldwide Developers Conference. Now, as you guys know, the iPhone 4 was released. Now, it wasn't a huge surprise on the design, because it was leaked, obviously. But there are actually some key features that we didn't know about through the leak. So if you see me look down, because I'm looking down at my notes here, I actually have a few pictures of the device as well. So what we seen yesterday, the front is a glossy glass, and on the back it also has a glossy glass as well, which is 20 times stronger and 30 times harder than plastic. This is actually pretty good, because this will prevent a lot of iPhone users from breaking their iPhone really easily. I've had a lot of friends that have cracked the mess out of their screen just from dropping it on like the softest surface, like a rug. And also with the design change, they also changed the resolution of the screen. They are using a Retina display, which is 960 by 640 with a backlit LCD display, which is the best pixelation ever. Like, your eyes can't even see the highest that they have. They actually have a 326 pixel per inch, which is, in other words, is super clear. Your eyes only registers 300. And on the iPhone, it's... 326 retina so they're comfortably just over the limit as Steve Jobs said at the keynote they're comfortably over so your eyes can't even register how great the display looks now with the leak people were wondering what was that band going around the iPhone and they actually went over that at the keynote and it turns out that this is a stainless steel band which is five times stronger than your standard steel and it's also the main part to hold all the components together of the of the device it is also the antenna so he had the bluetooth antenna the 3g antenna and all the other antennas that are in the iphone so this band it's all that and they incorporate it into the design where you can't even tell that it's all that the iphone 4 is running on apple's own 8 board chip this is the 8 board chip that they revolutionized with the ipad so you know that this device is going to be a screamer now with iphone 4 it ships with a gyroscope a gyroscope basically gives the sensation of a six axis basically everything is in 3d so this would be a great way for developers to make new games with the mm -hmm. 3d feel basically i can take my iphone here and go like that in 3D space and it'll actually move like that in 3D space with the new gyroscope feature. Now they actually updated their camera. It came from a 3 megapixel camera to a 5 megapixel camera with the LED flash and now this video recorder records in 720p HD. HD guys on a mobile device. This is like unprecedented. We're not the first mobile device to have it but I'm pretty sure we're going to be the best at it. And one of the last key features that they announced at the keynote is FaceTime. FaceTime is basically video calling for the iPhone. Everyone was wanting it forever and ever, and it's finally real, as they said. It is finally here. iPhone 4 has FaceTalk, which is video calling. The only downside right now, it's only on Wi-Fi only, but it's only because that they're trying to get it to work on all networks. All networks. So we could see this on a another carrier in the future not hinting anything just saying and that's pretty much it with iPhone 4 iPhone 4 ships with iOS 4 which is the new name for OS 4 they just changed the name to iOS 4 and this is one of the new line one of the new iPhones for the new lineup they bumped the 3G out of the lineup so now you have the 16 gigabyte 3GS model 16 gigabyte 4 and 32 gigabyte 4 iPhones that's the new lineup. Now as for actually getting your hands on the iPhone 4, pre-order begins next Tuesday, that's June 15th, and it actually releases on June 24th, which is the next week later, which is pretty fast. And as for pricing, 16 gigabyte iPhone 4 for $199 and a 32 gigabyte iPhone 4 for $299. This is just a quick video on a recap of WWDC. If this video helps you out or you just liked it, don't forget to just hit that subscribe button down there. Hit the like button. Comment below. Like I always say, just hit me up. Alright, peace.